Today I want to discuss UEFI based BIOS. First off, UEFI stands for Unified Extensible Firmware Interface. And now you understand why everybody just calls it UEFI, because it's a mouthful. In order to understand what UEFI BIOS is, we need to understand what BIOS is in general. So first off, all computers have some sort of motherboard, which just allows all sorts of peripheral devices, including your CPU, storage disk, memory, keyboard, and much more all communicate with each other through basically a data bus or a mess of traces on a circuit board. Anyways, we're not getting into that magic, but BIOS is a piece of firmware that usually exists on something like a double EEPROM. You don't really need to know what that is, but let's just think of this as some memory that resides on the motherboard and helps your computer start up. And it does just a few basic things, such as one, confirming your hardware is okay, pointing to an operating system, runs some basic drivers for things such as display support, and four, allows you to change some hardware settings. Of course, that's not all that BIOS does, but are some of the more important things, at least in my opinion. And now that we understand what basic BIOS support is, we'll talk about two types of BIOS. One being UEFI, and two, which had been the most predominant type of BIOS was MBR BIOS, which now is known as legacy BIOS. So since we're focused on UEFI, we're only going to talk about what benefits UEFI brings to the table versus MBR legacy BIOS support. We all know what the two screens look like, but UEFI has an extensive, has a better user interface, typically allowing you to even use mouse support and can give you a better overall experience, including even animation support. Number two, UEFI based BIOS comes with faster boot times. Now you can't give all the credit to just UEFI based BIOS, but it's technically optimized because it's a newer BIOS model compared to MBR legacy BIOS and supports faster interfaces, making things inherently faster. There's also larger disk support. Basically, MBR based BIOS used to support up to two terabytes of storage space on a storage disk before it theoretically couldn't work anymore. But with UEFI based BIOS, we have nothing to worry about because we're starting to get into petabytes of data before we run out of support. UEFI BIOS also supports network booting, which is great for enterprises because you could literally boot into your computer, server, or what have you from a network rather than a local disk. This is of course useful for production or enterprise environments that have diskless workstations or thin clients being used, meaning we're just not accessing things locally. You don't have direct access to a terminal or monitor in order to actually boot into your system. So these are four of the biggest advantages to the unified extensible firmware interface. And most of us, whenever we purchase a new computer, we're going to get UEFI based BIOS. You'll notice a night and day difference between MBR and UEFI, especially when using UEFI for the first time. It looks like a much more modern interface, even though that on some systems, it can be lackluster. I know Dell has a very nice interface when it comes to their UEFI based BIOS. And these are some of the benefits on why UEFI based BIOS is just a better choice when it comes to modern systems. Number five, the last one I wanna talk about is security. There's just more built-in features to keep your computer secured, including special checks, which today can be controversial if you want something to check out, check out TPM and how newer versions of Windows operating systems require you to actually have this support for your processor. And it has to be enabled through BIOS if it's not already. Either way, hopefully you learned a little bit about UEFI BIOS today. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. Also, let me know some other things you know about UEFI BIOS and share it with the rest of us because I couldn't get to everything quite today. But hopefully this is a good primer. Also, subscribe below, hit that notification bell for more Linux videos, including kernel updates. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.